so guys i decided i was going to jump back on battlefield 4 just for a while and boy am i glad i did now i've not fallen out with battlefield 1 in any way uh, i just you know i put so much time into it recently so much time and effort and i've been in the grind on battlefield 1 and dlc is really really slow i feel to come out there's not enough uh, not enough dlc coming out uh, you know we've heard of the free new the free maps and things like that and uh you know it's just for me it's all very very slow so i decided i was going to have a little bit of a break from it guys and jump on like i said and jump on battlefield 4 and god guys it's absolutely night and day between these games now i love both games in their own um, retrospect you know it's uh, both games are completely separate games and unique to each other but uh, there is some really really big differences between them when I jumped back on the Battlefield 4, the weapon choice, guys, just felt absolutely endless. There was a shit ton of weapons, and, you know, I found myself like, oh my god, should I use the MPX, or, you know, should I use w other weapons, and it was absolutely crazy. I couldn't even, it took me five minutes, guys, at the start of the game to even decide what weapon I was going to use, because I just like that many weapons. They all feel individual. Now, that's another point as well. Uh, like in the SMG class, they all, you know, all the SMGs in Battlefield 4 feel completely unique, feel different. Moving on to Battlefield 1, uh, I feel like every weapon in the categories feels, uh, you know, like in the assault category, every every weapon feels very, very similar, guys. And the uh, the rifles, all the rifles feel very, very similar in Battlefield 1. All the uh, LMGs feel really, really similar, guys. And it's just one of them things that really annoys me. There should be tons and tons of weapons. Now, we know there's tons of weapons in World War 1. There was tons of prototype weapons that they could add. They could do absolutely anything that they wanted, guys. And I feel like, at the minute, they're just letting us down on content. And that was one of the great things about Battlefield 4. I really, really, I, I loved so many weapons on this game, guys. The SCAR was an absolutely amazing gun. The L85 um, A2, the British Assault Rifle, of course, one of my favourite ones. The, um, the, I think, ARX 160, I think, was a really another really, really awesome gun that I enjoyed using. And I'm just kind of disappointed. I haven't got, like, a... a a favorite gun in battlefield one there's just like a couple that i like and that i, I kind of always use which is really really annoying because in battlefield 4 i use so many weapons uh, but one thing that battlefield one has really really got right and that is the use of the minimap now people are saying why haven't we got attachments a lot of attachments on battlefield one guys you just really don't need them uh, you don't need things like suppressors and you know and heavy barrel and, and things like that take for instance the uh the suppressor now you don't need that in battlefield one because it'll just be an aesthetic thing because when you fire you do not show up on the minimap on battlefield one unless somebody's got a spotting flare they can see you of course but other than that guys you're absolutely uh, silent so what is the point for a suppressor you don't show up in the minimap anyway now battlefield four I feel like you're always looking at the minimap, you know, for those enemy teams to flash up when they're firing and you can pinpoint their uh, location. That's actually my only biggest gripe, I think, about Battlefield 4. You focus too much on the minimap and it takes away uh, quite a lot of the gameplay and Battlefield 1 does that really, really well. So they've learned from that. Now, another thing is, guys, what I'm pretty disappointed on Battlefield 1 is... Battlefield 4's maps are absolutely glorious, and when I say glorious, I'm talking the sky is blue, you know, the sea is blue, the grass is green and rich, you know, you've got the colours of the popping from the trees and everything, everything's just so colourful, and it's a joy to actually run around the maps, and Battlefield 1 maps are really, really cool, but guys have all got that really, I know they're going for that World War 1 look, but the, every single map looks so gritty and dirty. I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. It's dirty and you know, gritty and war-torn. And I don't know what it's supposed to be, guys, but it what it wouldn't have been like that through the through the soldiers' eyes, you know. They would have seen perfect colour and everything, you know. To me, it, the, every map looks uh, similar the way it's all colour graded. And Battlefield 4, I just think, pops. And I wish, I wish Battlefield 1 was a little more 
poppy poppy you know with the colors and things but it is what it is it's a great game like i said guys i'm not hating on it but battlefield 4 guys it's just an absolute joy to jump back on and get grinded uh, i feel like in battlefield 4 you know, I can really go in confidently go into gunfights with uh, with my favorite weapons, and like I said before, a lot of weapons are really really awesome, and I I've got tons of favorite weapons on this game, guys. Compared to Battlefield One, where I've only got a few favorite weapons, and you know they're not even favorites; they're just better than the rest of them. So, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, you've Battlefield One, you've got your go-to weapons, and Battlefield Four, it just depends on whatever map you're on you know that's that's how I play the game anyway guys I've got certain weapons I enjoy using for certain maps and I feel like on Battlefield 1 I'm always using the same weapons on no matter what map it is you know and um, but anyway guys that was my thoughts my feelings really on the game it's uh, like I said it's just uh, incredible to jump back on Battlefield 4 and I'm so pleased that people are still playing this game really really awesome so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed leave your thoughts down in the comments section below and look up some more videos guys i shall see you next time